up guys, Tyra here, another week, another video, I just want to say that I am so very grateful to be here, and I have some of the best supporters that man I could ever ask for, so I'm going to ask you guys, at the end of this video, if it's in your heart, that you like this video, that you share and tag somebody to this video, because I know that you know somebody out there who may need to hear this message, also if you want to connect with me further, you can do so on Facebook or on socialcam.com, just type in Tyra Brady and I will pop up. Or if you want to do so on YouTube.com, tbrady89 is that page. Alright, so in 2013, that was the year of Dreaming Big. It is now 2014. This is the year that you begin to live your dreams. This is the year that you actually become those dreams. But in order for you to do that, I have a couple of different strategies that you guys can use to get yourselves to that point. And you know, it's so funny when you talk about the topic of dreaming big and or in living your dream life. Everybody's just so happy, so ecstatic, up until the point where the boat begins to shake, where things begin to become just a little bit uncomfortable and it pushes them a little bit past that comfort zone. And you know, when most people get to this point, they end up quitting. But since you're watching this video, I know that you're not a quitter. So I want you to listen to me very carefully when I say this. There is no success without failure. And what's failure? Failure is the epitome of being in an uncomfortable place and being pushed outside of your comfort zone. If you always do what, you, what you've always done, you'll always end up where you've always started from. But anyway, let's get back on the topic at hand. Dream it. Live it. And then be it. First and foremost, you got to be comfortable with yourself. You got to know that when God created us all, he created us differently on purpose. You know, people are either going to do one or two things. They're either going to love you or hate you. So why are you trying to paint the a picture-perfect lifestyle for the world? See, start embracing those flaws. And as Trent Shelton says, it all starts with you. Number two, you got to do what makes you happy. People are always going to have their opinions on how you should approach life, how you should approach your dreams. But at the end of the day, this is your show, so you got to run it in ways that are, that are best for you and in ways that will make you happy because they don't have to live your life. You do. And last but not least, I want you guys to stop thinking about what if I can't. And start thinking more on what if I can, what if I actually can live my dream life, then what? Stop letting the fear of the unknown keep you from reaching your dream because whether or not you want to realize it, success and your dreams are waiting right outside of that comfort zone. Dream it, live it, be it. Be blessed, y'all.